going to show you guys my primary secondary piping on my wood boiler. I bought a Portage and Main Optimizer 250 and I'm heating my 4,500 square foot house, my in-floor heat in the basement, in-floor heat in a two stall 24 by 24 garage, and my 105 gallon electric water heater. Um, basically what I had before was full electric heat. Uh, this electric boiler uh, heated up the water for the in-floor heat in both, both uh, zones. Um, so I just utilized it as a backup and um, piped my boiler in. The uh, plate heat exchanger I got is a 40 plate and I got a spiral trap dirt separator coming in and the Danfoss diverting valve which I may take out. I've heard mixed reviews about them so a um, bunch of webstone valves so I can clean the heat exchangers every year with vinegar. Uh, spiral trap or a spiral vent I mean for the air elimination. Um, I got my first zone which goes to my forced air high velocity air handler and that is over here. I bought the coil specific for this unit, puts out 70,000 BTUs, uh, which heats my house just fine. Some of you may think 70,000 is a little small for uh, 4,500 square foot, but I have an ICF form house and it's super insulated, so it takes very little to heat it. Also put in a Honeywell True Steam humidifier, piped it into the return air. Uh, it's got a couple of filters and a backflow runner. Um, so the humidity works great with that. Uh, it's a 12 gallon per day humidifier. Uh, works really good. So back to the boiler piping. Uh, basically reconfigured this whole setup and I got my primary loop pump there. Goes through my plate. Through that first zone I showed you. Um, down to my second zone here which is the water heater and I have another plate heat exchanger for that. That's a 10 plate heat exchanger which is rated at 50,000 BTUs. Uh, the two 4500 watt elements were putting out about 35,000 BTUs I believe. So I upped, uh, upped the uh, BTU output so it recovers a lot faster. And I uh, used, used more webstone valves as you can see. Uh, pumps and uh, Y strainers for um, cleaning capabilities. And then my last zone would be my in floor heat zone uh, with the mixing valve. And then it just injects the mixed temperature into the supply loops. Uh, those two copper vertical lines go out to my slab out in the garage. And then uh, the basement goes down there. And I plan on adding on another zone. Um, the control side of this is all orchestrated by a let's see, it's a SR506 EXP. Um, a little bit too many zones for what I need, but it's what they sent me, and I wanted to get it going as soon as I could. And uh, this thing works awesome. You can set up priority on zone six for the water heater, so that heats up first, and then all the other zones will call. So I got that set up. And you basically bring all your pump wires to this and all your thermostat wires to here. And it makes it pretty much seamless. Uh, I've got my digital aquastat for the water heater, senses temperature on the water heater side. So when that drops to 130, it kicks on. And you have a differential of about five, so I run it pretty tight. And um, the mixing valve I got on here. Just a Watts mixing valve. Just leave this thing up. And uh, works really well. The only thing I got a little problem with is uh, water, hot water back feeding into the cold side of the mixing valve. So I got to add a check valve and I'm going to put a expansion tank on there. That's what that one's for. And hang it up on the wall over here and um, eliminate that. Uh, hot water sandwich in the cold side. Uh, there's my fill for my boiler over here. Um, 
it's been working great. Negative 20 degree weather, it was pumping out 198 degree water, no problem. It's at 178 today. I, I dialed down the thermos, thermostat outside. So um, I got all this controlled uh, via a Honeywell uh, Prestige HD thermostat. You can see the equipment interface module there. I'll take you upstairs. Oh, the um, what I heated before with this high velocity was a 17 kW heat coil, and that cost me 458 bucks a month to heat one month in this house. So this thing is basically a uh, doorstop now. So um, wood weather is saving me a lot. Quick show you the thermostat here. the color touchscreen thermostat. Uh, I got full, full control of humidity. You can adjust it for the comfort zone and the window limit so it doesn't sweat on the windows. Um, there's also ventilation control and all sorts of stuff. You can also access it via your cell phone with a remote app. So I can check on the temperature of the house anytime, anywhere and also set it back if we're not around to save wood. I've ran through about six cord of wood this year and it's been 20 below for at least a week or so and then below zero for at least a month. So it's pretty good on wood. I'm very happy with uh, the install and uh, if you have any questions, just give me a shout. Thanks.